What's going on guys? My name is Mike and this is the Looter's Guide to your Bandit Weaponry. It's one of the eight weapon manufacturers in Borderlands 2. And a lot of you guys wanted this guide ever since like the episode, the first episode. You guys have been wanting me to make a Bandit Guide. And you know, it is a new company so I can understand why you guys want it. But at the same time, it isn't that interesting in my opinion. And it, it's kind of self-explanatory. But we'll go and cover it just for you guys. <laughs> so uh, don't worry, you're covered. Now, Bandit replaced SNS munitions, so if you're playing the original Borderlands, it's going to be a hard representation. You're not going to find the exact stats. So, just keep that in mind. It's not optimized for Borderlands 1, so that's it. Let's go ahead and get started with the actual guide. So, for the longest time, I did not know that Bandit was manufactured by Bandits, and I don't know who, how many people know that, but uh, if you didn't know, now you know. I really did not know that for, like the whole time I've been playing this but they all base it around magazine size that's all bandit bandits want I don't know why it's just you know they don't like to reload and because of this it's at the expense of pretty much every other stat recoil is horrendous accuracy is crap fire rate is slow and reload times are probably some of the slowest in the game damage is at least moderate you know it's not too bad but it is not a you know it's not the best also, bandits technically fire fully automatic. Every single weapon type they they create is fully automatic. And uh, that means that if you have a pistol, you are always going to fire fully automatic. Technically, you don't have to let go of the trigger. So just hold down that button and you will just keep shooting. How you know, albeit pretty slow, but it will shoot. A lot of the bandit weapons also have a pretty taunting look to them, usually in the color red. And the nose of the gun is sometimes painted as like shark teeth, you know, like some of the p fighter planes in World War II. It's also very apparent that bandits created these weapons because many of them are misspelled to hell. For example, pistol is usually spelt as pistol, and I, I can't comprehend that. Bandit is one of the few companies that manufacture five different weapons. They make assault rifles, pistols, shotguns. SMGs and rocket launchers. Now with assault rifles, you're gonna find humongous mag sizes. Like, these largely represent the ma machine guns of today. Damage is decent, the reload times are god-awful, some of the worst of the weapon types of bandits. The pistols Bandit makes also has some of the largest magazine sizes you'll find in a one-handed weapon. Some even boast a double drum loader. So, you know, you got these two little drums that it's unbelievable amount of bullets you can hold. This makes the gun pretty unstable though, because of the weight difference, and this generally makes for inaccurate guns. Fire rate is pretty freaking slow too. Now the shotguns are a little special. You have two different types. One of them is the standard shotguns, and from what I know, these have no elements to them. However, I do know that there is a second type, and that second type is a grenade launching shotgun. And these always have elemental effects to them, so you're always going to shoot these elements at them. It's not going to be a grenade style thing. It's just elements firing out of the gun and exploding like a grenade. It's pretty cool. Reload times can be dangerously slow when engaging in close quarters. A lot of these shotguns also deal a lot of damage because of the amount of pellets that they fire. A lot of times you'll find 500 times 15 or something like that. And this is probably one of the highest dealing shotgun companies, probably behind Jacobs. So the submachine guns that Bandit makes are a little better. You're going to find a better fire rate, and because of this, they're great for spraying and praying. So if that's what you like, this is for you. However, they are inaccurate and generally hard to aim, but they do have better reload times, so that's the plus side. Now for the rocket launchers. So with these, you'll often find multipliers just like you do in the shotguns. In fact, I've found many of these where it says, you know, like, X damage times three. So you're shooting, like, three rockets at once. It's a great way to deal a ton of damage like second to none behind maybe Torg. So it's really good, it does a lot of damage. Bandit provides for a very specific user, one who enjoys the pleasure of not worrying about reloading. I have a major habit of hitting the reload button anyway, so this is pretty much useless to me since every other stat is outclassed by the other companies. However, if you are a gun zerker, this could work really well for you, and maybe even a commando, even though I'm a commando and I don't like it. It really, in the end, it all comes down to preference. Alright guys, that's it. I changed it up a little bit this time around. Tell me what you think. Do you guys like this type of guide that I make, or do you like the uh, other ones, which is a lot more professional, I would say. So anyways, tell me what you guys think. Also, be sure to leave a rating, and what are your thoughts on Bandit? And what is next? What's going to be on the next Looter's Guide? 
We got about three left. We're coming near close here. We got Torg, TDR, and Hyperion. So let me know, and I'll get working straight away. And also, if you're new, be sure to subscribe. So that's it, guys. My name is Mike, and I'll see you next time.